The Los Angeles Clippers are looking unstoppable. This team continues to get it done. They're coming off a 127-116 win over the Lakers, led by Kawhi Leonard's 25 point, 11 rebound, 10 assist performance in his second career triple-double. With the win over the Lakers, the Clippers now have a 31-8 record over the Lakers over the last decade. This is what Darvin Ham said after the Clippers beat the Lakers. And I quote, you damn near have to play perfect basketball to beat those guys. They're in a really good rhythm. And I mean, he's not wrong. This was the Clippers' sixth win in their past seven games and 11th in their past 13 games. The Clippers are 20-4 and four since December 1st, which is the best record in the NBA. And they now sit comfortably in fourth place in the West at 28-14, and 14, only one and a half games back of the number one seed. What's going on, everyone? It is Luca here, back with another video in this one. I'll be talking about the LA Clippers looking like a juggernaut. If y'all could do yourself a favor, please hit a like on the video. It helps it a ton. And also, please subscribe to the channel for more Clippers content just like this. Securing the victory in the Battle of LA, Harden had 23 points to go along with 10 assists. Russell Westbrook had 16 points, 3 assists, and 2 steals from off the bench. And Paul George, Norman Powell, and Terrence Mann all had 17 apiece. As the Clippers had 33 assists on their 52 made field goals. The team is still without center, Zubots, who's out with a right calf strain, but they keep moving along here. The Clippers didn't even play their best on Tuesday night, and they still found a way to win. But that's what good teams do. They find ways to win. Just as the Clippers found a way to win against Brooklyn when it looked like they were about to suffer a very bad loss. In that one, Kawhi Leonard scored 14 of his 21 points in the final five minutes as the Clippers overcame an 18-point deficit in the fourth quarter to beat the Nets 125-114. The Clippers took their first lead on Leonard's basket with 250 remaining, and they closed the game out with a 22 to nothing run. It was a thing of beauty. That's the type of run the Clippers are on right now. They're just beating whoever's in front of them in different ways. And you look at what has been a huge key for this Clippers team's success. Obviously, you know, you got to talk about James Harden as a starter, him coming in. Once he got comfortable with this team, he has just absolutely elevated their offense. And Russ, I mean, him coming from off the bench and doing a solid job, he deserves a lot of praise too. Paul George has been incredible. The role guys, you know, man, Norman Powell. It seems like everything is coming together for this team. But we also got to really acknowledge that Kawhi Leonard is playing like a true top five player in the world right now. The last time Kawhi Leonard looked this good in the regular season, he ended up winning a championship with the Raptors. I mean, you look at Leonard, guys. He has now won 18 of his last 20 games. And when you look at the case with this Clippers team, George has been great. Harden has been great. But to me, it's Kawhi Leonard who will push this team over the top, especially come playoff time. That's why a healthy Kawhi is so crucial for this Clippers team. And I mean... You look at Leonard, he was impactful in the win over the Lakers beyond just the triple-double. The Clippers outscored the Lakers by a game-high 15 points in Leonard's minutes. You talk about impact, that's impact right there. And Kawhi Leonard, over his last 18 games, he's putting together some nice numbers, averaging 26.2 points, 56.9% shooting from the field, 50.6% shooting from three, 92.1% from the free throw line, 6.4 rebounds, 4.1 assists, 1.7 steals, and one block per game. Those are just absolutely magnificent numbers from the claw. And Kawhi is the needle mover in this situation. I mean, you look at last season, right? He was obviously playing unbelievable at one point during the regular season when he was healthy, and he almost single-handedly took down the Suns in, in that playoff series, you know, with what he still had. Obviously, there were uh, some key injuries in that series, but if he hadn't ended up getting injured, like, I believe he would have got the Clippers past that series against the Suns. So right now, the Clippers, I believe, have the puzzle pieces intact. They're continuing to build the continuity. They're continuing to build the team chemistry. And the Clippers are getting it done in the regular season, which is huge because instead of having to deal with a lower seed like they had to deal with last season and have to start a playoff series on the road, 
if the Clippers continue to handle their business the way that they have been, there's no reason why this team can't get the one seed or at least a top three seed. But, you know, hypothetically speaking, let's just say if the Clippers do get the one seed, you're talking about now you have home court advantage throughout the entirety of the Western Conference playoffs. You know how huge that's going to be. But of course, the biggest thing is going to end up being health. And, you know, this Clippers team needs all of their top guys to be at 100%, and they need all of their top guys to be in sync. But, I mean, you stack this Clippers team up against any team in the NBA right now in a seven-game series. Like, the Clippers only have four losses since December 1st. You mean to tell me, like, you're banking on the other team beating the Clippers four out of seven times? It's going to be awfully tough. You know, obviously, you got some really good teams in the East, and then, you know, you got teams in the West. But, I mean, outside of the Denver Nuggets... I think the Clippers would generally have, you know, a, a very successful playoff series. And, and the, the the one real test is the Denver Nuggets. And, and even in that series, I think the Clippers would have enough to finally get past them if they are healthy. So, I mean, this Clippers team, they've been absolutely fun to watch. I mean, they're continuing their blistering rate from three. You talk about an offensive juggernaut. They have been exactly that. The Clippers are at 46.6% from three in their last 11 games, which is by far the best in the league. This is the individual Clipper effective field goal percentage for this year. Kawhi's at a career high 58.5%. Paul George's at a career high 56.5%. Harden is at the second highest rate in his career, 57.8%. Powell a career high 60.9% and Zubots, a career high 65.5%. That is unreal. So there's no reason to think that the Clippers can't keep this up. We've seen now a large enough sample size, obviously after them getting off to the rough start with Harden. And I mean, based on what we've seen, it suggests that this Clippers team is looking like one of the best, if not the very best team in the Western Conference. So we'll see if the Clippers can close out strong leading into the All-Star break. They're going to have a bunch of road games here so that's going to actually be a really nice test for this team and you know we'll see where they stand as we go into that all-star break and they set themselves up for the second part of the season but that is going to conclude this video Clippers Nation Clippers fans what are some of your thoughts when it comes to this Clippers team what are some of your takeaways when looking at the Clippers dominant run since December 1st as this team continues to win games and they continue to just put the league on notice that something just feels different about the Clippers for this season. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Hit a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Plus, ring the bell for more. That is it for me. This is Lucas signing off. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all again in the next video.